So this is going to be a little tutorial to draw a golden rectangle. Um, this is one of our compositional maps. However, I'm also sending a copy of a golden rectangle for you to use as a compositional map. The main reason I'm asking you to draw one out is so that you can get an understanding of the proportions and this physical knowledge that I talk about often during class. Uh, so we're going to start by just drawing a straight line across our paper. Just like that. Now, this is a great time to use that right angle construction that I was showing uh, in a previous video. Uh, but just to save a little time, I'm just going to use this straight, uh, uh, this 90 degree um, square uh, to get a couple uh, right angles on my paper. Now I'm going to be starting by drawing out a 5 inch by 5 inch square. So I'm going to measure that out. Five inches there, and go five inches here. Again, I want to have a vertical, uh, perpendicular line coming off from this spot. So again, this would be a time where we could use that right angle construction. And just take that same five inch measurement Finish off my square. Okay, so I have five inches by five inches. I want to find now. I want to find the center of this line. Now I can simply measure that out. Correct. So I have five inches. Uh, five inches here. So that's going to be two and a half inches. Uh, let's say that we don't know exactly how big the square is, though and we need to find the center in a different way. We can do that just like uh, when I showed you how to do the texture mapping. Uh, we can do that by drawing a diagonal, just creating an X from corner to corner. Now that we know where the middle is, we just need to have that vertical line going down. So any perpendicular angle or any perpendicular line is going to work here. Any method of creating that. Okay. So now we know we have the exact center between those two points. Let's call this point A. Let's call that point B. Now this is 5 inches by 5 inches. Unfortunately for me, for that, it's just a little too big to go from point A to point B with this compass. I have this little bit larger one that I use in the wood shop. So I'm just going to take and use my pin at point A, start making a mark at point B. I'm just going to bring that arc all the way down until it intersects with the line there. Now, as soon as I do that, this is going to start to be the golden ratio. The difference between this length to that length is the golden ratio. The golden ratio is 1.618. Just barely caught that in the frame of the camera there. So if we call this length a unit of one, whatever that unit is, we make that unit up for the moment. The difference between this to that is this would be 1.618. So golden ratio set up already. What we, how we want to turn this into a golden rectangle is by taking and taking that mark. We can say this is mark C for our purposes. And we can do a perpendicular line that's coming rising up from there. Now it's a simple matter of connecting the dots, in this case just extending that line. Again, I'm going to use the two marks that I had previously. 
So what we have created now is not just one, but actually two different golden rectangles. The outer perimeter here is a golden rectangle, but also this vertical rectangle is a golden rectangle. It's one of the really interesting things about this particular construction or this particular type of rectangle. The math behind it is every time that we create a square, we also create a golden rectangle. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to take and I'm going to create a square right here. I'm going to do that by using my compass and finding the length from point B here to this upper corner. If I bring that down and mark here, that's going to create as well. Let's just finish it off and then I'll explain. So if I draw this square out, it's going to draw, create a square, and now again a golden rectangle. Let's do this a couple more times. I'm going to measure from my new line down to point C. Do the same thing. This should all be the same measurement. Bring my ruler to my pencil yet again. Get that vertical. Another square, another golden rectangle. And we can keep doing this. Now, at some point, this is going to start breaking down. Now, if we were doing this on a computer, we could continue doing this infinitely. I'll just continue to reduce, but there's a lot of different variables when we're drawing by hand. So another square, another square, another golden rectangle. A lot of different, as I was saying, a lot of different variables when we're drawing by hand. And here in a moment, what we're going to find is, and I think I'm really close there, is instead of being able to draw a square and a golden rectangle, what I'll end up drawing is a square and then two more squares. And it looks like I'm right there. So just looking at that by eye, I can tell that if I divide this just in half, what I'll end up with is two equal squares. Um, this is where the Fibonacci sequence and the golden uh, rectangle or golden ratio kind of uh, coincide. Um, you might know the Fibonacci sequence from uh, things like sunflower growth or um, Oftentimes, people uh, conflate the Fibonacci sequence with a golden ratio. Um, they're very similar. They're not exactly the same. Uh, whereas the golden ratio is this 1.618, and it will continue infinitely smaller. The Fibonacci sequence uh, starts uh, with a series of numbers. So Fibonacci sequence, and we'll do this up here, is 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, and so on, and so on. Now, how are these related? Well, the way that I showed you to create this golden rectangle, we are slowly moving inwards. We could actually continue moving outwards also, but I showed you creating this uh, spiral moving inwards. But we can also do it moving outwards with the Fibonacci sequence. So we start with any unit in, as a square, and we call that 1. 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. And then we could go 13 plus 8 equals 21. Now, if we thought about this as like a seed growth or something of that nature, or how shells grow, 
uh, they would start with a unit and then slowly build upon that and moving out. Anyhow, this is how we create our golden rectangle. Um, and, uh, and we'll see in uh, how we use that for a compositional map uh, when we move to that, uh, or you'll see that on the slide show that I'm sharing. Thank you.